two. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be trying out some new drugstore makeup. Now these aren't new by any means, but these just are new to me. And I will let you guys know my first impressions on those products as we move along the video. And all of the products are available on Nika. I will leave the link to all the products used in this video in the description bar down below. So if you love any of those and you want to buy, it's just a click away. I really, really love how the look turned out. Okay, so the first product we are going to try out is the Color Bar Spotlight Illuminating Lotion. I wanted to compare it to the MAC Stroke Cream. giving me any glow so i am going into the second pump now it does has a little bit of pink reflect in it i don't know if you can see it but once i like blend it completely into my skin i do not see any you know reflects i think that this compared to the mac stroke cream absorbs easier and faster into my skin i mean it's just a fine moisturizer i'm not very impressed by it i don't think that it leaves like any pink reflex on my skin which i would have liked a little bit i also want to try out the pack stroke cream if you guys have tried that out let me know what you feel about it if you like it or not we are going to try out the kiko milano eyebrow pencil one side you have the pencil and on to the other side we have the eyebrow marker or pen let's first go in with the pencil side i am really really loving this it just went on so easily it is quite a bit pigmented but does not feel too waxy or creamy which is good because that means that it is going to last pretty long i really need to get my eyebrows done i think the bad draw to this pencil is that it does not have a spoolie i mean it's give or take either you get the pen or you get the spoolie but i just i just keep going back like this trying to take the spoolie out and then i realize no we have pen on the other side now to the pen side i am a little bit scared not gonna lie because i've never used an eyebrow pen or marker before i don't want to spoil my eyebrows i think my eyebrows are going too dark like the pen is too dark does it look good? I mean, it definitely looks more hairy than this side, but it is darker for my eyebrows. I think that I need to get a lighter shade in it. It's difficult to do this side. So my first impressions are that I really, really like, not like, love, the pencil side but with the pen side i need to try it a little bit more because this is my first time trying an eyebrow pen so i need to practice a little bit more but what i feel is that this shade is a little bit darker for me like this is in shade 04 tuscan sunshine so maybe i will get a lighter shade in this and then try out before doing the foundation we will be doing our eyes for which I am going to use the Nika Eyes of Me the Smoky at 8 Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So to prime my eyes, I am going to use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I have just tried this out once before and let me tell you that I am very very impressed by it. This concealer has such a pretty coverage. And it is not drying at all. By the way, I got the shade light medium 
and also this concealer does not really crease which is so so amazing so i am going to go in this nude pink shade first and i will go on to my crease Can you see how pigmented these shadows are? They go on so easily. And it's also blending super super easily. I don't know if it is just me. You guys let me know. Is it more difficult to do the left eye in comparison to right eye? Because I feel it. I am better onto my dominant side rather than on my non-dominant side i love this palette because you got all the basic neutrals you need you can create like softer looks using this part of the palette and then go into the smokiness using this part into the palette now i am going to go into the brown shade over here i am using the pack 226 brush it's a very precise brush and i am going to focus this onto my outer corner close to my lash line I will go back into the brush we were using earlier just to give it a little bit of blend. Just a little bit onto the crease. Oh, I do wish that this brown was a little bit more pigmented. Like I am having to build it up quite a bit. I am going to go into the pencil brush just so that I can pack on the brown shade. And it is a little bit more pigmented. Now for the shimmery shade. Okay, I'm going to go into the gold one with my finger. Yeah, I do like the shimmer in this palette. So this is how it looks so far. Uh with the brown one, I did have to work quite a bit. But now, as we have blended it in, it does look really, really nice. I also really wanted to try out this. This is the Etude House Mirror Holic Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I think that it will add quite a bit of dimension in our eye look. So let's see. Oh, that's pigmented what i'm gonna do is to take my finger and blend it out i am going to take the golden shade again and just going to tap it in between the brown and the silver glitter just as a transition okay so i am going to leave my eyes over here i'm going to do my base first I am going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Refresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. Mine is in the shade 140. Oh, I have some like glittered fallout onto my skin, which I didn't notice earlier. And if you're liking any of the products used in this video today, the link to all the products will be in the description bar down below. This eyebrow is definitely, definitely that good for me. For the concealer, again, I am going to go into the flower beauty one. It is a little bit dark good for me, unfortunately. You know what I need to get is a white concealer so that I can lighten up any of my dark concealers. You can see how good that coverage is and I didn't use a lot and it blends out pretty easily as well. We will set our under eyes later because I have a lot of cream products to try out today. Firstly, I am going to bronze my skin using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick. This is not a new product. I love, love this contour stick. I mean, it's not a contour color really it's more like a bronzer color i'm just gonna use the brush that i used for foundation because why not can you see how easily it just blends in and it's also very beginner friendly you won't have any problems whatsoever with this contour stick 
and it's like so cheap like vermoil is very very affordable like i pretty much love all the products from wet and wild i'm not liking these earrings they're just coming off again and again i am really 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 excited for this so this is the flower beauty blush balm i got mine in the shade melon look at that color it's so pretty is pigmented oh I love it looks so like skin like and gives me such like a pretty glow to my skin I love it and it blends so easily into my skin oh my god I'm obsessed with it like obsessed also it does not feel very tacky like I thought since it's like liquidy it will feel tacky but it has sinked into my skin pretty nicely. Now for the highlighter, I am going to go into the L'Oreal Glow. Want a more? Want a more? I don't know how to speak French, but whatever it is called. Oh, it's very liquidy. It just feels like an oil almost. I'm just going to go into my sponge to blend it out. I don't know what I feel about this. I mean, it's pretty. I guess I will prefer this more on my natural days, like no makeup, makeup look. Just this mixed in with my moisturizer or then with my BB cream something. I think that this will be pretty. But on top, I mean, it leaves me with a nice glow, but also I think that it lifted up the blush underneath. I am interested to try it onto my decolletage. See how it like leaves me with a glow, but doesn't really highlight. But it looks so pretty on on body. Like I prefer it as a body highlighter instead of a face highlighter okay so to set my under eyes i am going to go into the next contour palette this shade over here i am wanting to highlight a little bit more like highlight highlight like this is giving me a pretty glow but i want to highlight a little bit so I am going to go into my Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Palette. You can see how much I love it. I am going to mix this and this shade over here. Okay, so now we will complete our eyes. I am going to go into the Maybelline Eye Studio Brown Eyeliner. So I am going to go into my pencil brush and smudge it onto my lash line. I'm not looking for a precise application. So I'm going to take another pencil brush with the brown shade and go on top of it. I really prefer this kind of look over having a black winged liner i think that this looks so much more prettier so for the mascara we are going to use the l'oreal lash paradise mascara i do really love this mascara it is a due for the two face better than sex mascara which is my favorite mascara of all time i do like that a little bit more than this but this is such a pretty one now i don't know if i should Put on the lashes or not I am not a lash girl to amp this look a little bit I am going to go in with a color bar all rounded pencil in the shade sexy silhouette 009 now I am going to go into the pencil brush with the new pink shade It 
let's use a little bit of brown as well just onto the outer corner I do really like how the pink looks but obviously you can keep it neutral just go in with the same shades that we use on top and it will obviously still look very very pretty but it's just something a little different I am going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone using the same Right now. So for the lips, I am going to try out the K Beauty Matte Action Lip Pencil. This one is in the shade High. It's so creamy. For the lipstick, I am going to go into the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Now it says that it's matte, but it's not matte really, it's like a satiny finish, which I really love. Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss and this is in the shade 05. To set the makeup in, I am going to use the back micro finish makeup fix it. I love this because it has such a fine mist so that is the finished look guys let me know in the comments down below what do you feel about this do you like the pink eyeliner or no like I think that it's just something little different than usual you know it's not too much it's just that little tweak that makes it special. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button as well. It will help me a lot. And I have a lot more videos coming for you guys. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye. By the way, do you guys know I did cut my bangs myself? And I think that I did a pretty good job. It's been two months, so they have grown quite a bit. The bangs are so difficult to manage. I do not want to cut them again. I just want them to grow out super, super fast, okay?